There's always a lot of talk about the word dominance. How do I become dominant over my horse? How do I show my horse I'm in charge? Well, I think ordinarily these are the kinds of scenes that people are familiar with in terms of dominance. This is what dominance is thought of. And many people feel that they must behave the same way in establishing their dominance or their control over their horse. horses are doing is establishing their order of rank within the herd. That order of rank is crucial in the entire herd's safety. These horses are under alert. There's a threat condition in their field. This is the purpose of establishing dominance in the natural horse. It actually shows us what great leadership and teamwork occurs between the horses. They move in unison, they protect each other, they look to the leadership for direction, and also look to her for guidance. There's a sense of leadership and guardianship within this herd, and it's all about their safety. There's a predator in their field, and that predator is me. I'm behaving in a stalking fashion, just as a lion would do. Going forward, then crouching down. Every time I go forward, the horses run away. Every time I crouch down and I'm quiet, they come back, and they want to take a look. This is exactly the behavior a lion uses in order to draw the horse in so they can be caught. I'm way out here in the field. Watch how this organized team works together to evaluate the threat. You can see three distinct lines form within this group of horses. The lower are in the forefront, the mid-ranked horses are in the middle, and the upper ranks are in the back, furthest from the threat. Look at what dominance means in the equus language. The leader, very simply and subtly, calls in the rest of the horses with a simple swing of her head. The leader doesn't just push everybody around. She also determines when everybody can relax, when it's safe, and she delivers that message. Here, she's lining up all the horses along the fence line, telling them that the threat is over. So she drops her head and just relaxes. Here she is with a simple head toss, telling the other horses to go around her. It's a simple head shake that calls their attention. Notice that they all are looking to her. They're not looking at me as the threat. They're looking for her guidance and her instruction. This is what the leadership does. She's determined that there is no longer a threat and everybody can just relax. Notice they're all following her. These initial scenes between horses that I showed you in the beginning are about establishing a position within the herd. This bay mare is the alpha mare. Establishing rank within the herd is as simple 
as who can make whose feet move. Through all of these scenes, you'll notice that there is no contact made between horses. There are threats, and there are kickouts, and there are squeals. But nowhere what did a kick make contact. The reason is because as long as the other moves their feet away, then there is no contact. When you're establishing leadership with your horse, if you talk to them in aquis, it's as simple as a little flag that gets their attention. It's the same as a nose toss or a head toss that you've just seen in the previous scenes. Immediately, you gain respect, and they'll follow you and even dance with you. In the process, of looking to you for guidance. It's also important to remember that the leader also tells the horse when to relax. You can see here this horse is a little bit anxious and I need to be able to get her to calm down just a little bit. By taking the time to get the mare paying attention to me and slowing down and calming down, then I'll be able to do almost anything with her. But she must relax when I tell her to. It's the same as that alpha mare lining all the horses up along the fence line. She tells them when it's safe. In essence, I'm establishing dominance here.